Hi, I'm Matt from Haltech, and today, in Technically Speaking, we're going to be using this Toyota 1UZ engine to set the base timing and the initial setup of an engine. So the first tool that we're going to need is a timing light. What we do with this is we hook the inductive clamp over the ignition lead for cylinder number one. So once you've got your timing light hooked up to cylinder number one, go to the Haltech software and go to the ignition setup page. In the ignition setup page, select ignition lock and go to enabled. Now what this will do is this will tell the computer to always fire the timing at 10 degrees. It doesn't have to be 10 degrees, it'll be any angles that you have in the lock timing angle. Okay, so if you only have a zero degree mark on your timing pulley, then set this to zero degrees. If you have a 15 degree mark on your pulley, then you can set it to 15 degrees. Whatever it is, it doesn't really matter. This process is just used to synchronize the computer with the engine. Why do we need to do this? Well, we need to do this so that the computer knows where the engine is operating. So if you've got 10 degrees in the computer, we need to get 10 degrees on the engine. If you've got 15 degrees in the computer, we need 15 degrees on the engine. And that's why we use the timing light to check that the computer is doing exactly what the engine is doing. Now on some factory motor vehicles like this Nissan Skyline, uh, they come as a coil on plug, so the coils are directly on the plug and there's no lead from factory. Now in this case, the manufacturer sometimes will put an inductive ignition loop for checking the ignition timing. This is not good for checking the base timing. In vehicles like this that have coil on plugs, you must get an old lead and make a connection between the bottom of the coil down to the spark plug and put the timing light on this lead. Do not use this loop back here because the timing will not be correct. That's all we have time for on Technically Speaking this time around. I'm Matt from Haltech, I'll see you next time.